Good day, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, we're going to do a new video. Um, as you can see on my screen, I have a, uh, a background here, a custom background that I set up uh, for when you enter the welcome screen and uh, when you enter the uh, deployment uh, screen where you pick your faction selection. Okay, notice that that image is the same. These are two different screens. So um, I'm going to show you in this video how to do that. Uh, this would be a, a modding, uh, not part of the scenario framework. Uh, you're working outside the normal uh, framework here. Um, and once again, if you're dealing with anything with the GUI, GUI components, um, you have to use dot layouts. Um, those are all the controlling ones. Uh, you know, those those dot layouts control all the graphical interfaces. I think BI did a workshop on it or a boot camp they call it. Um, I haven't watched those yet, uh, so I need to I need to get into those uh, boot camps and probably could learn certainly learn a thing or two. All right. So what you have to do uh, to get that background screen. Um, is it's very simple actually um, what you want to search for there's two dot layouts that are involved in that if you are using the welcome screen you have to do one dot layout and if you're not using it then you only have to do this other one I'll go over both of them uh, and let me get to them okay so what you want to do is search for a, a dot layout called welcome screen menu and then the other one is called the role selection menu. And th so those are the two. And the dot, the, the uh, welcome screen is the first one that is presented. Uh, and then if you uh, click next, then it's the role selection one. And we'll cover that. I'll, I'll rerun that and show you what I'm talking about if you don't get it. Um, so what you want to do is override these. So of course you do this, the, the thing where you you know right click the original file, you do the search. You should know how to override at this point. Um, you know, do a search of the uh, file, and then once you find it in the Armor Reforger directory, uh, you always right-click on it. Uh, let's see if I can find one real quick. Uh, layout. Uh, you always right-click on it and then select Override, uh, and it will automatically create the the um, path folders and then put it in the correct location on your side of your uh, scenario. That's what's great about this system. So anyway, okay, you have the uh, welcome screen menu and you overridden it. What you want to do is you want to open it up. Uh, so double click on it and I'm scroll wheeling out and then you can use uh, two mouse buttons to drag and move it around. It doesn't impact it anyway. Um, and as you can see, here's my background image. So what I did was you have these layers up here. And if you, this is basically across all the GUIs. Um, you have different, uh, what's called widgets. Um, I, I haven't broken down in the details. I just kind of hacked my way through this. But you have this role selection up here, it's called. And then you have a map frame. And that map frame is what is displayed when you you have this this custom image and when you don't have the custom image normally you see the image of the map behind it and that's controlled by the map widget that is inside the map frame so what I did was I went to create and I found the image widget and I took the image widget and I dragged it and dropped it into the map frame originally I dropped in role selection but that's too high. You have to be in the map frame. So let me delete that. Okay. And then what you do in your image zero widget, you find whatever image you want to put there um, that you have imported in. This is completely custom. I, I, ma I made this and then imported it. And you go to, first of all, the behavior. Let me see. You go to transform slot and you make the anchor one and one. So slot, anchor, and one right, bottom one. Okay. You see that right there? And 
then you close that up and then you go to appearance and you go down to your appearance and you drag and drop from your image folder your dot edds image and you just drag it and put it into the texture and it will automatically size it based on the image size and set this up for you okay now the next thing you got to do is you will not see you won't be able to see it uh, you'll run you'll see it here but you'll run it and it won't be up here you have to go to your map widget the next one down and let me find it unsorted you go down to nope what I did is I went to unsorted and I removed all this information out of here but there is another place in behavior you can uncheck is enabled and is visible you check uncheck those and it hides it I also set the opacity down to zero so it's clear just to make sure um, there's several things you can do here you can leave these checked and set the opacity down to zero and that will probably hide it good enough for you um, or you can uncheck these uh, and you can go to the unsorted and remove these image sets that display that map um, so it's not not there at all of course if you want to restore this back it's very easy to restore back. All you have to do is, let's go to it. All you have to do is um, delete this layout, this dot layout, and it will restore back to the original file. Um, it's always there. You, you can't do any damage this way. Okay, so that's how you do the welcome screen. The role selection is the exact same way did the exact same thing. I went to the map frame because the same map is displayed on this screen. This is considered another page, if you will. So you're at the welcome and then you hit hit continue and it's an page is over to this one. Um, I just dropped in another image just like I did before and then uh, edit, uh, dropped in my file, put the correct uh, anchor in there uh, one and one drop the file in and then I went to the map image and did the exact same thing that I did on the other one where I shut everything off um, this one here I have it uh, is enabled and is visible I've just left those checked and what I did this time is I set the opacity to zero now this screen is a little different from the other one in the way it's handled but you know it's still it, it still works basically the same and then I got rid of the image sets and all the textures that were down in here uh, to make sure that nothing was appearing. Okay. And we don't want to save any of those changes. And then, of course, you go into your world editor. We'll hit play again real quick. Demonstrate it. Okay, and as you can see, so here's the welcome screen, um, which you set up in your game mode. You have that component called welcome screen. Uh, I think I did a video on that, I'm not sure. And then you hit continue, and it takes you to the next page, which is the role faction selection, role selection. Okay, and then you continue on from there. And then, then it takes you to here where you're going to select your spawn point. Okay, that's it. Appreciate it. Y'all have a great day. Thank you very much. Where is my software? Okay.